Hi, this is VBL. In this video, you are going to learn how OPAM can be used as a subtractor. To do this analysis, I have taken two cases. The first case is where you will be applying the voltages which is to be subtracted in the single terminal of an OPAM. Other terminal will be grounded. In the second case, we will be applying the input voltages which is to be subtracted in the two different terminals of OPAMP. Let us get into the topic with the first case. Let's proceed with the first case. Here I have taken an OPAMP with dual power supply plus V and minus V and non-inverting terminal is grounded and we are feeding input to the inverting terminal. Right Here I have given V1 through R1 resistor and current flowing through that is represented it as I1. Similarly, V2 is applied through this R2 and current flowing is represented as I2. And you know that to have a proper gain, I need to have a feedback that I have done by using this RF resistor. And current flowing here is moving in this path so that I can represent this current as IF. Okay, this is all about the circuit construction. Now let's analyze this circuit. So here by virtual ground property what I can say VB is equal to VA right VB is equal to VA what is your VA what is your VA v, VB is equal to 0 since VB is equal to 0 I can write in turn VA is also equal to 0 this is what my first condition first equation next I will be writing uh, KCL apply KCL for this node okay so second step is you need to apply KCL for the VA node. Okay. When you apply that what you will be getting? I1 is entering here and I2 is entering here and the current leaving is IF. What KCL says? The current entering to the node is equal to current leaving the node. right? So based on that I can write IF is equal to I1 plus I2. What is IF? You know that. VA minus V0 divided by RF. VA minus V0 divided by RF is equal to. What is I1? The potential difference between the two terminals of this resistor divided by the resistance value which will be giving you the current. Okay. So now I1 is nothing but V1 minus VA divided by R1 plus. What is I2? This is minus V2 minus VA divided by R2. So let me write that here. Minus V2 minus VA divided by R2. So here you know that. What is VA? From equation 1 I can write. From equation 1 I can write this equation as minus V0 divided by RF. You know that this VA is 0. Then apply VA is 0 in all the uh, terms. So here V1 by R1 and this is minus V2 divided by R2. Minus V2 divided by R2. And if you assume, I take if assume RF is equal to R1 is equal to R2. So when you take the values of RF, R1, R2 same then what happens? This will be equals to minus V0 is equal to V1 minus V2. Okay. So I just apply this minus 2 towards this uh, right hand side. So that what you will be getting. V0 is equal to minus into minus. This is plus V2. And then minus V1. So V0 will be equals to V2 minus V1. So this is a subtracted value which you will be getting at the output terminal V0. This is all about the first case. Hope you like this video. Kindly like, share, subscribe for more videos and press bell icon to get upload notification and don't forget to comment your topic of interest in the comment section.